Day two of competition, I've been I've been eyeing this big ass bear fur up, so 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 to speak, from from the Aussie boys, and um, I was sort of um, eyeing it up with Torstein, and um, Torstein really wanted to rock me off uh, the first person to guinea pig it on that day. I just thought that if it was going to happen, that was the day, because I knew the weather was coming in or a little bit of wind, so I was kind of set on it from from the start of the day. Now certainly we all recognize. I wasn't all that happy about the whole fact, but um, he, he, he manned up and hit it first. After that first first hit, uh, I just screamed out like that was the scariest thing I ever did. <laughs> I don't know if it, if it was, but it felt, sure felt like it. On the moon. Life on the moon. I was watching the two astronauts walking. The first time I hit it, I went over the lip and sort of thought, oh shit, I've got to go all the way over there. And it was, you know, it was pretty scary, but you know, once you get once you get used to it, you know, it's a pretty fun feeling and it's definitely one of the best rushes you can get in life. Check it out, man. Check out what I got here, man. What is that, man? I think I think that's the biggest jump I've hit. Um, I've gone into jumps with the same speed, but that's either like a step up or, or something else. Not 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 like a big booter like that. <laughs> I was actually uh, very proud of myself for talking, talking myself into not hitting it. It was a sweet jump. A couple of my friends hit it real big and had some sick tricks. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a nice season of powder. So I stayed away because, boy, if you had messed up on that one, it could be a career ender. Man, exploration. 